I work for University of California, Los Angeles. I'm a one of the faculty in school dentistry at UCLA. Our initial interest was purely the scientific curiosity. And we, we heard that there is a very unique titanium-based materials, which was aqua titanium. And then uh, we ran the pilot studies, several pilot studies, to comprehensively screen the biological potential of aqua titanium. And then it turned out that there's a lot of interesting results came out. So that was a real motivation to develop further experiments. And we planned a three-year project immediately based on a strong interest, based on the strong pilot study results. We got a very good surprise to find out that, uh, that the unique titanium-based materials by phyton has very positive effects in, in various uh, the properties in living cells. For example, the cell metabolism was increased uh, when, when, they, when they cultured on the, the aqua titanium uh, based materials. As well as uh, we found that uh, cell peripheral activity, cell growth, uh, was increased as well significantly. And then also um, the various function of the cells. For example, the mineralization, which is the bone calcification of the in bone cells and uh, the muscle uh, contraction ability in the muscle cells was also significantly increased when they cultured on uh, the aqua titanium. So those are, I think it's a very substantial, uh, the interesting data we found. Yeah, so far, I think our interpretation, our conclusion has to be limited to the in vitro study basis. Uh, the further in vivo studies, as well as the further uh, human-based studies has to be uh, performed in the future. However, uh, we believe we had uh, substantial uh, steps forward uh, to conclude that at the cell culture level, at the in vitro cell culture levels, uh, aqua titanium has a significant positive effects of various kinds of cells to increase their functions and behaviors, such as bone cells, and such as muscle cells, uh, and skin cells. Mm -hmm. Probably I can mention that the most recent study results, uh, which was the based on the non-contact mode experiments. So we culture the cells, muscle cells and bone cells, in the regular cell culture dish and we put the aqua titanium underneath the cell culture dish. The cells and aqua titanium were not in contact, were not in direct contact. It's kind of remote effects, non-contact effects. But still, the, the cells, muscle cells and bone cells, uh, they received significant positive effects to increase the function and behavior by the presence of aqua titanium. That was the most surprising effect we recently got. I think we should listen very hard the voice of the athletes. Uh, we just, as a scientist, trying to transfer the athlete's voice to science. So we need to listen to, ask their feelings, ask their uh, motivation and excitement. And we're trying to put just in writing in a scientific manner. Uh, we learn a lot of things from them. I think it's significant, significant steps has been the made forward uh, to characterize, biologically characterize aqua titanium based materials. And, but we still have a great opportunity to move further, uh, which is the development uh, of explanation of new biomaterials in regenerative medicine.